Howdy, and uh, welcome back to my channel. This is JShell for Eugi and AODL, and this is various things keeping this old hermit alive. This is a photography one. This is in my series of compact lens setups for Fujifilm uh, bodies, particularly the X Pro. Today, we are looking at the TT Artisan. 28 millimeter f 5.6 m mount lens which is a very vintage old like a styled lens this lens is very compact when flush against a leica m body but how does it look on a fuji uh, that's part of what i i want started this series because i wanted to see that this lens has this kind of a back plate to it, which has the, the zone focus measurements. And the lens portion six straight out is narrower than uh, where it mounts. And it is just a cool old style design for uh, quite cheap compared to some of these lenses. This is the Seven Artisans Close Focus M Mount to Fuji adapter. This is much wider than other adapters in this series because uh, this has a, this focus ring on it, which lets you achieve close focus. Many rangefinder lenses uh, have kind of a narrow uh, minimum focus range that starts a bit further out. And this lens is no exception. Its minimum focus is one meter by default. But with this adapter, you can focus much closer. And I find that with its larger size and very flat profile, it looks really good with this kind of backplate narrow lens design. So it serves aesthetic purposes as well as actual functional purposes. But let's look at this on a couple of other adapters. First adapter is this TT Artisan uh, FX or M mount to Fuji X adapter that has this tapered design where it narrows down from the wider FX mount to the narrower M mount. And that kind of works especially well with a lens like this that is then even smaller than that mount. So this is definitely a much more subtle look than the on the Seven Artisan close focus adapter. It still looks pretty good on the X Pro One in this style, especially. It looks fairly native. I have to close the windows. That's better. Uh, let's look at this on the tube style adapter. And here it is on the Photodiox LM to FX adapter. This is one of the cheapest adapters you can get. They do have a pro version. This is just kind of the tube style. It sticks straight out, but just is at the size of the X uh, mount. It looks good on this too in this body so really kind of anything works and looks okay I think especially on the larger X pros I found that on the smaller uh, XE3 and XM1 I'll show you that in a moment in these adapters the lens looked a little, I don't know it didn't match the aesthetic quite as much but I think that this lens being very much designed for like an M uh, bodies. Of course it looks great on the X-Pro. Not that the X-Pros are a uh, clone or copy of the like M bodies. Fuji's own rangefinder cameras, film cameras, look a lot like this. Look at the TX1 or maybe even back to the medium format guys. But 
the size and kind of dimensions seems to really really fit here before I show this on the XM1, let's look at this with its lens hood on. This lens hood is brass, the lens is brass, so it's a solid, slightly weighty construction. This lens hood mounts right onto the edge of the lens and you tighten the screw on the side. You can't put a lens cap on when it's like this. I don't know of any lens cap for the hood itself, but again, this gets you very vintage look and style. And from straight ahead, if you have the silver version of this and you want to kind of downplay the silver, going for a more stealthy look, this does help kind of diminish it from the front this lens hood. When you're laying the camera flat, you can kind of put it over the lens like this, but it will not stay like this, so you can't really pack it down tight onto the lens like you can with some hoods. Which is to be expected. The hood, I think, is actually is taller and deeper than the lens itself. Let's look at this on the XM1, which will kind of stand in for the XE series. Here it is on the XM1, which is the smallest X-Trans camera, I believe. This is smaller than the XE's, uh, especially the XE1 and 2, which are uh, bigger than the 3 and 4. Stylistically, this is a lot like an XE4. The XE4 is maybe half a centimeter wider, a little bit more, and a little more than half a centimeter taller because that actually has a viewfinder. But this kind of shows this on the compact cameras and it still looks pretty good. This is still on the tube adapter. Uh, quick note on this adapter, I don't know if this is just my copy, but this lens is really tight on this adapter and takes a bit of force to get on and off, which I don't experience with other ones. But other lenses have fit on this adapter just fine. Here this is on the TT Artisan tapered in adapter. I don't know why this particular setup to me just looks more at home on the X Pro One. On here it's fine, but it just kind of sticks out a lot more to the, due to the lower profile of the camera. It still looks good and this is kind of you know a stylish lens choice as much as anything. It is a good lens. I'll share pictures at the end but that's how this setup looks. And finally back to the Seven Artisans close focus adapter which would be my recommendation if you were looking to get one adapter because this is just serves a lot of purposes. But this is a bit wider in size. It's bigger than the X-Mount itself, and it basically fits exactly within the body of the X-M1. Here's the lens mounted on this adapter on this slimmer profile body. Visually, I think this works okay. Uh, I like this extra kind of ring of silver and black. This looks almost a little steampunkish kind of concoction with the silver, black, silver. Add the lens hood on, got even more. Uh, some thoughts on just using this lens. Uh, I like this focal length alright, the 28mm uh, on the X-Trans 3 and earlier bodies, which is the majority of the Fuji bodies. The manual lens setup menu has 21, 24, 28, and 35mm sizes built in, and those aren't editable. 
and there are two editable slots on the older cameras uh, so it's nice to have a lens that fits one of those built-in ones uh, shooting it's been absolutely fine it is a zone focusing monster you know since it starts at 5.6 goes up to f22 this aperture ring is very easy to use, very nice to use, and this back range shows the, the zones. In f11, you're between like almost 3 and 9 o'clock, 2.30 and 9.30, 8.30, I don't know which, um, but you're really far over there. At f8, you're still extremely wide. You're kind of at the 10 and 2 on this, which is very easy to be between 1 meter and 5, or 1.2 meters and infinity, and that's at f8. Uh, I have other lenses like this, the 7 Artisans 25mm f1.8, uh, that I thought should be good zone focusing lenses but they seem to want to really pinpoint their area maybe because I use them at lower apertures a lot but even when trying to replicate the experience of this lens on that 25 millimeter I can't uh, so I really enjoy this with the X Pro 1 it makes it easy to kind of still use the optical viewfinder because there's no electronic rangefinder patch just kind of trust the zone focusing and use the viewfinder to kind of for suggestive framing uh, for kind of a very old style look of course it works okay with the EVF knowing that the X-Pro One's EVF is not the greatest but that's what makes this lens kind of extra useful on that camera, the zone focusing, and also here too on the XM1. So that, that is looking at the TT Artisan M28 millimeter f5.6 M mount lens mounted on Fuji X Pro and XM bodies to kind of see how this looks when adapted to these cameras. Uh, I think especially on the X-Pro bodies, this really retains that vintage uh, rangefinder or even kind of early like a 3 look or even like the original uh, collapsible lens before they did the interchangeable lenses. So fashionably, I think it's cool. Use-wise, I think it's cool. Pocketability, it's definitely there with the mount it sticks out about one uh, 1.2 1.25 1 inches with the lens cap uh, definitely pocketable on the XE 3 4 and XM1 the XE 1 and 2 and the X Pro bodies are a bit bigger especially the X Pros but this can still uh, tuck inside a decent sized pocket without taking up too much more space beyond the camera itself uh, I'll close it out with a bunch of just uh, a few assorted pictures of various quality taken over the last few weeks.